Converting from general to standard HK form when dealing with parabolas. For example 1, I've got y equals x squared minus 4x plus 5. Basically I'm just looking to complete the square. So I'm going to focus on these first two terms. I'll say y equals, I like to go to my brackets, x squared minus 4x. I'm going to kick this 5 to the outside. Then I have to ask myself, how do I complete the square here? If you recall, we'll cut the middle term in half, we'll call that a negative 2, and we square that. So negative 4 cut in half is negative 2, I square that, it would be plus 4. And you can't just randomly go about adding numbers to equations. So because I've added 4 to this equation, I must balance by subtracting 4 to the same equation. And then we'll just condense it here. We can say y equals. As I condense this, this condenses to x minus 2 quantity squared. I simplify this outside, it becomes plus 1. From this form, I can now discuss what the parabola would look like. I have a vertex that would be located at 2, 1. It's going to open upward because of the a value here. The number in front of the parabola is 1. It's positive, so we're going to say it opens upward. And because it is 1, we know it has a standard opening. So this will keep going back and forth to what I had in the introductory vi video. This little chart, this little column, you're basically going to have to keep looking back to it until you have this memorized. With a positive A value, we're talking right there, what was in front of my parabola. Because it was positive, I knew it was opening upward. Because it had a value of 1, I knew it would have a standard opening. Now this obtuse, standard, and acute doesn't make a whole lot of sense yet until we get a number of these problems down and then I'll go into the next phase where we actually graph them. I'll do a second video of this here. Second example. On this example, I've got y equal x squared minus 6x. Notice that it's missing a number here. Not really a big deal because when you go about completing the square, you want to focus just on those first two terms. So you say y equals, again I like to use the bracket, x squared minus 6x. It creates that ominous space, a space that I know that I have to fill. So when I look at this, I go to my second term, I cut that in half, which would be negative 3, and I square it. As I square negative 3, I get positive 9. With a positive 9, I can't just randomly go about adding 9 to problems. I must balance by subtracting 9. And then I condense this. As I condense it, I get y equals. There's the implied 1 there. So I can call this x minus 3 quantity squared minus 9. From that form, I can glean some information. I have a vertex that would be located at 3, negative 9. Because the a value is 1, I know it's going to open upward. It's positive. And because it was 1, it is a standard opening. So I know all that information just from that HK form. I got my vertex. I took the opposite of what was in the parenthesis. I kept what was on the outside. I look at this scalar, this multiplier that's in the front here, and when it's positive, I know it op opens upward, and because it was 1, it was a standard opening. There's two examples on converting to the HK form.